Okay, let's start this over. I don't know what happened there. But I'm just going to wait for a couple of people to come on. First, want to say namaste, everyone. Um, here, let me show you a little flower arrangement that my um, homegirl Stephanie and her daughter, Gabriella, that went flower picking. And they did an arrangement for me. Isn't that beautiful? Well, and they also got me some lilacs because I missed back home. You guys probably having the lilac festivals over there yet? Well, today's video is about the universal law and spiritual law. And the second law is request. Under the spiritual law, if you want help, you must ask for it. The law of request teaches us to ask when our souls are ready with clarity and intention. It is our personal responsibility to ask for the things that we need in our lives. With the law of request, we are not to impose ourselves upon others. If you push yourself upon someone who hasn't asked for your help, you prevent them from sorting out their own situation for themselves, hindering their own learning process in their lives. Also, when you force your help or advice on someone, you bear the karma if it goes wrong. It is considered bad manners to rush in an uninvited and most likely your help will be ignored and unappreciated. Of course, if someone is, you know, drowning or something, you know, you help. Your guide, you guide in blind comfort the sick and behaved. However, if you feel upset by the mess someone has got themselves into, it is your stuff. It is an addiction that you need to look at yourself and within yourself rather rescuing someone else. If you're involved in a difficult situation at work or a, somewhere in your career um, path, the experience and learning you gain from dealing with the problem and overcoming it may be the perfect stepping stone you need to move yourself in your career. It teaches you new skills and prepares you for promotion. You wouldn't appreciate it if someone leaped and looked over without asking permission as that would be interfering and would block you from being ready for a better job. In the spiritual realms, no angel, spirit guide, or a higher being is able to interfere with your life choices. Instead, they will stand by with patience, compassion, and watch you make a mess of your situation. And that's all you need for spiritual growth as well. They will though save you from a serious um, accident because it's not in your karma. Not only not only is it spiritual bad manners for them to interfere, but it also stops you from learning your own spiritual life lessons that you experience. There are times when it's appropriate to ask for help from your spirit guides and angels. And as soon as you are ready to ask for help and you are ready to receive it, you are ready to accept the wisdom that goes with it. Then the higher powers will align themselves to help you. The answer most often lies in the question and the more clarity you have in your question, the fuller help you will receive. Some people are constantly crying out when, what, how, and why. They want to know the answers to one question after another, but these are demands rather than questions. They come from a place of desperation and neediness rather than centered an open place. The person who is steadfast, walking in a spiritual path, goes within to find answers. And as soon as you are ready to know something, the teacher, 
will then appear to provide it. This may be then a reform of a book, a person, a show that you watch, um, a stranger, um, anything that give you that clue. Um, that is the um, law of um, request. Now, in quotation, the universe is waiting for you. All you have to do is just ask. And that's it for my video. Namaste, everybody. Love y'all. Hey, Marisol. Hey, Leanna. <laughs>